Hi, this video will show you how easy it is to install an SSL certificate uh, into your uh, to your website if you have a web server. So uh, normally this is quite expensive, and there is a, a tool for free, um, <coughs> and it installs everything for for you uh, to get a. A secure website is very important uh, since this year since Microsoft uh, Google said that they only accept or they will dominate more and the HTTPS uh, um, and the secure uh, websites they will uh, rank them a little bit more up and the other ones a little bit more down so you need this secure website uh, without this one, you get a default website, and that's not that's not the, the same. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, to get a secure uh, socket layer um, certificate, uh, I think that's the word for it. Uh, this is normally very expensive, and um, I think and usually it's uh, will only go for every uh, website itself so here website 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 and you have to pay for each website and uh, this is very very expensive so there was a little group um, I think it's an open source project <coughs> or a startup uh, and they were they are calling uh, let's encrypt and their uh, their main item was to uh, to create automatic Mm, uh, certificates and I tested it today today and uh, this is very easy uh, all you have to do is uh, they write down there what they what you have to do you may donate a, a little bit and there's a list there and if you have a Windows system then you have to um, most systems are here on Linux and um, Apache re uh, machines and some other uh, the, the list of software there is also with the for Windows U machines and what this does it's called uh, <coughs> here's that ACME protocol so this is a, a default protocol which you may run and um, it's usually run on the uh, console of the uh, of the machine and I will show you how this works on uh, and how easy it is uh, to, uh, to do that. So first you go to the to the GitHub and you will find their loan code uh, coder Let's Encrypt Win Simple. So it's a very simple small project, and you will download there the download zip. And as soon as you have downloaded that, you will un uh, unzip it there. This one you may unzip and then you have there uh, and when you're Windows programmer you have the let's encrypt win simple SLN solution you d uh, double click on that and then you will have the um, the solution there it's like this one um, yeah and w as soon as you run that stuff uh, let's let's do it for one time <coughs> you you uh, download that, you double click on that and you should uh, copy everything to your uh, to your virtual to your machine and I've done the same <coughs> and I've uh, I copied everything to my machine there and I ran that stuff here on my let's encrypt and there in let's encrypt you may uh, run it once and then you get um, then you get the debug uh, final execute executive uh, file so <coughs> uh, that's a let's say a bit complicated to uh, I didn't find the final um, program link somewhere so you have to create it by yourself okay now when I double click on that now this is my blank website and on my website I have several sites and I may show you since I since this is allowed for me uh, I already installed that stuff on uh, on this uh, Rue 25 so this is uh, my private website and there's my official website and there's an another website and 
as you may see here on my default website there is no uh, no certificate SSL certificate uh, installed and I will install it now so when I try it out first when I type this one then you will see it doesn't uh, switch to the secure socket layer and now we run that stuff we are in our in our machine I created the exe file I double click on the exe file so there comes up the console manager and this one says okay uh, first that comes um, on the first run you will get um, um, let's say here where was it you have to accept the license they are policies and then you will say okay yes and then on the second point there comes uh, this which says okay yes the, the the script the ACME script checks your websites which are on the machine and then it says okay for for which domain you do you want that uh, certificate and here, now I need it for my doku uh, codoku.com so I say here uh, which host do you want to get to certificate for so I say uh, the one it accepts that and now it uh, looks up in it uh, refresh authorization and all that stuff it, it gets it downloads the uh, it downloads the certificate from uh, let's encrypt and it open certificates store web hosting and where is it somewhere it's written that it also uh, do you want to replace existing uh, let's sim uh, let's encrypt win simple blah, 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 task so there's uh, it also uh, checks that stuff in the web config when you have a windows server then you have the web config there and you re it replaces that stuff and here it is that writing the web config it changes that and it also creates a task uh, at seven o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning and where where it uh, refreshes the certificate now it will say okay I replace that stuff and it replaced that replaced it you want to specify user or task with uh, which run as so if you need the administrator for example then you have to say yes otherwise it takes the default so that's okay now it says uh, renewal scheduled IIS code doc can be uh, renewed after something else and now that's okay now we check that stuff on my website I would say okay HTTPS front slash front slash code docu and now you see that's very uh, that's really great because it's the green color green colors me means uh, this is very uh, secure and it has a, a higher ranking so you see this is uh, a very easy software and I have documented this in my Kodoku uh, website you may download my, to the link for example and run that stuff you will find the same stuff on uh, on Linux machines and as you see this is for free so this is a, uh, a great gain for all websites and I, I hope they uh, maybe you should donate something on there so uh, and it's yeah it's really helpful